Hello, I am Africa Brooke. I am a consultant, coach, and writer, and I help people move through self-censorship and different forms of self-sabotage. The first step to setting personal boundaries is taking an internal check-in. Putting forward any kind of boundary on any level is bound to feel a little bit uncomfortable. And I don't want you to take that discomfort as a sign that you are doing something wrong or something is bad or that you need to pull back. In fact, it can actually be the opposite. It can be an opportunity for you to build the capacity to hold discomfort so that you can move forward and set a healthy boundary. We can tend to confuse barriers for boundaries, and it's really important to understand the difference if you want to build true self-esteem and confidence. So a healthy boundary always has to be flexible enough for understanding to happen, for clear communication to happen, even for intimacy to be able to flow. Whereas a barrier can actually leave you feeling very disconnected, very detached, quite resentful, and knowing that you've put something forward, but nothing has actually changed. So it's really important that you understand the difference because boundaries are not supposed to be an electric fence. They're there to protect you, not to leave you feeling disconnected. You are not responsible for how someone responds to your boundaries. However, you are responsible for how you communicate them, for how you behave, and how you show up before and after you put the boundary forward. You don't have to be tied to the boundary that you set. You can always negotiate, you can always review, you can always see how things feel over time and then adjust as necessary because things change, right? And it's also important to understand that this is about your well being. You're not doing this to control anyone. You're not doing this to make a situation be very specific to how you want it. You're doing this to build understanding, to create connection. So really understand that this is not about control. This is about owning your why and following through, even if it's uncomfortable. First step, taking the internal check-in. Just because you feel a little bit uncomfortable, does not mean that you're doing something wrong. It doesn't mean it's bad. It doesn't mean that you need to pull back. It just means that you need to find a healthy way to deliver that boundary. The second step is understanding the difference between a healthy boundary and a barrier. A healthy boundary is supposed to leave you feeling open, understood, and connected. Whereas a barrier is likely to leave you feeling detached, disconnected and even resentful. So understanding that difference can allow you to articulate it in a way that will protect your well-being. Third step, staying open. This is really important because you don't want to be rigid in your boundary setting process. You want to remain flexible. There's always room for review. There's always room for negotiation. You can always adjust as you need to. Everything is a case by case basis. It's also important to understand that this is not about trying to control anyone. This is about protecting your well being and that of the people around you, even when it's a little bit uncomfortable. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Setting Personal Boundaries with me, Africa Brooke.